Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Espinosa, Executive Director of Communications for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. We thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, in the order of speakers that we will have today will be LA County Fire Chief Daryl Osby, and then we will have LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva come to the podium. Thank you. Let's go live with uh, Chief Daryl Osby of the County Fire Department. Good afternoon. My name is Daryl Osby, and I'm the Fire Chief of the Los Angeles County Fire Department. I want to thank you for coming here to today's uh, briefing of the Willow incident. Today, shortly before 10 o'clock at 9.47 a.m., the Los Angeles County Fire Department received a 911 call of a potential helicopter down in a brush fire at the intersection of Los Virgenes Road and Willow Glen Street in the city of Calabasas in unincorporated uh, Los Angeles County. Upon arrival, our firefighters discovered approximately a quarter acre brush fire that resulted from a crash on the, hill, on the hillside. The Los Angeles County Fire Department initial response was 15 pieces of apparatus and 56 personnel that consisted of paramedics, engine company, heavy rescue, truck company, hand crews, and aircraft, and a chief officer to oversee the incident. Upon arrival during the incident, and upon arrival of the Sheriff's Department, our two de respective departments entered into unified command to handle this incident. Um, our firefighters on scene indicated that there was a debris field and steep terrain with a quarter acre brush fire that was occurring at the time. Our firefighters hiked in to the accident site with their medical equipment and hose lines to uh, extinguish the uh, stubborn fire as it included the brush fire, debris from a helicopter, and the fire also included magnesium, which is very hard for our firefighters to extinguish because uh, magnesium reacts with oxygen and water. In addition to our firefighters hiking into the incident, we had one helicopter flying to the incident with firefighter paramedics on board. Those paramedics were hoisted down to the incident early into the uh, incident. Um, they did a search of the area for survivors. Unfortunately, all the survivors on board were determined to have been perished. Um, firefighters and hand crews worked to extinguish the fire while carefully pre preserving the incident for investigation. Um, currently, the investigation is still ongoing. I would like to turn this over to my sheriff to continue the press briefing. Thank you, Chief Osby. Personnel from Los Hills Sheriff's Station responded to the scene of, of the crash site and uh, assisted the fire department and we've established a, a containment area and now our Aero Bureau has a handle on traffic or uh, aircraft accidents. However, when there's a fatality, then it switches to the National Transportation Safety Bureau, the NTSB and the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. The FAA is already on scene and assisting we're waiting the arrival of the coroner's office to assist in the recovery of the remains. As the chief indicated, there were no survivors. We have a manifest that indicates that there was nine people on board the aircraft, the pilot plus eight individuals. Uh, there is uh, wide speculation as who the identities are. However, it is be entirely inappropriate right now to identify anyone by name until the coroner has made the identification through their very deliberative process and they've made, made notifications to next of kin. And it'd be extremely disrespectful to understand that your loved one was perished and you learn about it from TMZ. That is just wholly inappropriate, so we're not gonna be going there. We're gonna wait till the coroner does their job and we're assisting the families of those who believe they've been impacted and it's a, it's a, it's a tough process. And our hope goes out to all of the members that were on board, all the family of everyone who was on board this aircraft, and uh, God bless their souls. So at this point in time, we have nothing that we can add until the coroner does their job, and we'll be making those notifications when we have the information, 
and we know the next of kin have been notified, then we can release the information publicly. And you'll be notified in uh, subsequent uh, announcements. Sheriff, sure. 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 there is the one thing you can confirm. Do we, we have a confirmation, bodies? actually, of Thank nine you. bodies Thank there you. at the scene? That is, that is our belief, yes. Okay. Thank you. So we realize at this point there are so many questions. There's a lot of information out there. And again, we understand um, you know, we, there's a lot of information that's floating, but we certainly have a responsibility and an obligation out of respect, of course, for the families. And this is a very difficult time uh, for us all, for the city. We have the mayor here of Calabasas, also city council. We thank them for being here. And in fact, they wanted to pass on a message that uh, for those in the community that want to gather here and are coming to Calabasas, um, if you do, uh, you are welcome to join others at the De Anza Park here in Calabasas and the cross streets there are Lost Hills and Las Virgenes. Also, um, the Sheriff's Information Bureau will be sending out updates as to uh, when there will be, if there is one, a press uh, advisory out, a notification of another press conference or any other updates through our Twitter. So please look for that. And again, we thank you so much for being here today. And again, thank you for your time. Elizabeth, take a look. Sheriff, please. Sheriff, we have more. Sheriff, just a question quickly on, on sealing off the area. We know the NTSB has to be there to do that thing. Is the public going to be able to get anywhere nearby, or is a stretch of Las Virgins going to be shut down for an indeterminate period of time? It remains shut down for an indeterminate period. How big of an area? Any idea? Still on site? Can you confirm there was heavy fog in the area? 